Hi, my name's Eden and welcome to Ems Gallery. Today I'm going to be showing you how to hang with a strap hanger. So these are some of the things you're going to need. You're going to need a spirit level, a drill, screws, tape measure and a pencil. So if your piece arrives and you see this, this is what you call a strap hanger. So don't panic that there's no string on there. Um, our expert framers would have framed this um, knowing for the weight of your piece, this is what you need to be um, hung safely and securely. So once your piece is fully unwrapped and you're ready to hang it, you need to get two very important measurements. The first being the distance between your strap hangers. So this one I've already measured is 152. Um, and then you also need to measure the distance from the top of your strap hanger to the top of your artwork. This is going to help you decide where you need to hang it on the wall. So once you've found the middle point for your strap hangers, you're going to make this mark on your wall so you know your middle point of your artwork. Then what you're going to do is with the measurement down that, you're, that you found down from your strap hanger, so that was 34 centimetres down, you're then going to mark that out from where you want the top of your artwork to sit. So I've already made a mark on the wall here just so it's a bit easier to show you. So I want the top of my frame start here. So I know the strap hanger starts at 34 centimetres, so I've made my line 34. So now I've found the distance um, of where I want my strap hanger to go on the wall. Just need to use the spirit level to make sure that the nails are going to be straight. So I'm just going to find that distance. And using the spirit level, I'm just going to make a faint line across. I think the nail will go on both sides. So now I have my line on the wall where I know that it's going to be straight, no matter where I cut the nail, I just need to measure on the tape measure what half of the distance um, of the strap hanger was. So I know that it's 77 and a half. So I'm just going to pop that measurement up against the middle point and then just make a little indent where I know that I need my nail and it will be perfectly half the distance. So once you've got your nails both securely in the wall, you're going to need to come over to your artwork and safely lift it. Always lift it from both ends and don't pull it from the top. So here you have your beautiful full cycle set hanging up. There are many different types of walls and many different ways to hang your artwork. So if you are unsure of anything, please give us a call at the gallery or email us and someone will be more than happy to help you. So now I'm going to show you how to hang if you're using string. So once you've found the perfect place to hang your artwork, if you have string, this is really simple. You just need one nail. Just be conscious of the fact that if you have got a specific plate height that you would like to hang it from, the string does have around two centimetres of movement, so if you get your tape measure and pull it, that's coming up at 13 centimetres. So I know that if I have a specific height that I'd like it to hang from, if I go 13 centimetres down the wall, that's where I'm going to put my nail. So once your nail is in the wall, all you need to do is just grab your string, put your arm behind, and then just prop it on top like this. And there you are, your artwork is perfectly on the wall.